Justin Wheatley and what a main event it's going to be because if there's one thing we've seen in the past season of British Wrestling Weekly it's that the Gen X League has become the fastest division in British professional wrestling today but now we're not just going to have two Gen X competitors we're not going to have three we are going to have a four corners the first ever four corners Gen X League Cup match on this very programme and we kick things off with the champion, the current and reigning champion, the man that very few people, well, bubble gum admiring the view there, who can blame him? The man that very few people believe would be the first ever Gen X champion, particularly because he was in that finals with the wild boar Mike Kitchburn. And TNA British Bootcamp winner Mark Andrews, but the fact remains that he left with that cup and he has been undefeated ever since. Now let's meet the man who was originally going to have a singles match with Bubblegum. He is the Welsh-born high-flying sensation. He is Flash Morgan Webster. Over to you, Stevie Aaron. to the talent and ability of Flash Morgan Webster. This Welsh-born star began at the same training school as TNA British Bootcamp 2 winner Mark Andrews, and this guy can fly just as well. And if you see Mark Andrews, you will know exactly why that is the greatest of all compliments, because Flash Morgan Webster is one hell of a British wrestling star. Says he's from a town called Malice, and he is a, a sultan of style here a throwback to a different decade in Britain. But the fact remains that Flash Morgan Webster was originally going to have a single showdown with Manchester's bubblegum for the Gen X League Cup. The reason that is not happening and the reason this match has changed is because in a match to get him ready for bubblegum, Flash Morgan Webster was beaten by the man we're about to see, the owner of the most dangerous move in British professional wrestling, managed by the manager of champions. His name is the Wild Bull. His name is Mike Hitchman. This guy has got all of the tools it takes to win that kind of match. 
So you've got so many intertwining and twisting stories in this one. But the one that is going to be most interesting to me is the sheer animosity that the wild boar, Mike Kitchman, has for Bubblegum and that the manager of champions, Gilligan Gordon, has for Chardonnay. And Bubblegum is smart enough to know that he needs to stay away from the animalistic beast that is the wild boar Mike Hitchman for as long as he can because when Hitchman gets his hands on Bubblegum there is going to be trouble and luckily we know that we've got a little bit of time before the commercial break on this episode so we will see Bubblegum touch that turnbuckle and the bell ring before I have to shoot off right at the last minute like we did last time we saw him in the Gen X League Ladies and gentlemen, I've just been informed by the Gen X League champion Bubblegum that he will, not comp- he will not compete tonight unless he has total silence. Well, that's, that's not going to happen, is it, Bubblegum? It's professional wrestling. There's not going to be... If this was the World Book Reading Championships, we may have total silence. He would but also like to inform you Olympia. that he does what? not suck. Bubblegum is now using ring announcer Stevie Aaron to tell this audience that he does not suck. And unfortunately for Bubblegum, it will be actions that will speak louder than his words if he wants to convince a thousand people plus that he does not suck. I will give Bubblegum credit, this guy is an incredible performer, but you can't blame this many Liverpudlians for looking at the Manchester Bull Star and seeing flaws in his professional sporting per- personality. Because this guy really, really has the tendency to get under the skin of everybody he ever comes into contact with. And we just need him to... I, I made a promise, and now I'm getting concerned, because I made a promise that we had enough time that Bubblegum was going to touch that top turnbuckle bef- uh, bef- so the bell could ring and I wouldn't have to shoot off like I did last time. It was terrible. I said, OK, uh, oh, we'll be right back. And the bell rang just as we went to commercial. And uh, I made sure, I told our producers, give Bubblegum a lot of time. And if he does what he does uh, did last time, I, this will drive me insane. I'm sorry, I'm going to concentrate because it looks like we're going to get it. Adam Johnson now, remember, all four men must touch that top turnbuckle before... Ad- He's doing his shoelaces. This, this is... I, I have to remain impartial as a commentator... But I am starting to side with the wild boar Mike Kitchman because Bubblegum is really getting on my nerves at this point. Okay, and this and apparently the, 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 this crowd in Liverpool feel exactly the same way, and you can't blame them. And a kiss to Chardonnay. Listen, we are. Oh, I can't believe it's happened again. We're going to have to take a very short commercial break, but I promise you this match will continue. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. And the bell rings. I cannot believe he has done it again. We'll be back. The show you're about to see is performed by highly trained professional athletes. The moves and actions are incredibly dangerous when not done by skilled professionals. Please do not attempt to try and do anything that you see in this programme at home. Back here with you on British Wrestling Weekly and you join us a minute into our four corners Gen X League main event as the wild boar Mike Hitchman takes on Flash Morgan Webster, the amazing Matt Myers and the Manchester star Bubblegum who, to be honest, pushed me to the point of professional exhaustion before the commercial break. But he is back in this one and this one has begun. Whoa, 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 whoa look at what? God! Springboard second rope drop kick to the outside by Flash Morgan Webster but watch out for Matt Myers. And this is going to be a tough one to call because we have got four of the fastest men. My God, Sakamoto Moonsault on the inside. He calls it the greetings from Awesome Town. And it was almost over as quickly as that. As I was saying, this one is going to be incredibly hard to call because four of the fastest men in British wrestling are in one contest in your main event here of British Wrestling Weekly. Oh, and he's going for that ice cream headache. Electric chair drop into a package powerbomb. Myers quick to get out of it, as he should be. Bubblegum there fights out of that waist lock. A kick to the shin blocked and a big forearm and a massive kick. My God, I heard that echo out like a gunshot through the Liverpool Olympia. Bubblegum for 
follows in Hitchman, who's on the apron. Hitchman comes in, looks like he's going for that package pile driver, the most dangerous move in British wrestling today. And Myers there, not sure if that's a smart move because he, he helped Bubblegum by accident, goes for that Myers stunner and a huge German suplex. Oh, and Myers in the corner, keep your eye on the wall, boy! by the wild boar and a T-bone suplex takes Matt Myers out of his boots and launches him three quarters of the way across the ring. Oh, look at that massive knee to the face by Flash Morgan Webster and a face first power bomb from a wheelbarrow but oh bubblegum look he's going to do it again he's going to do it again oh. Hitchman kicks out deja vu because just like we saw in the finals of the Gen X League, Bubblegum went for that again, but this time it was unsuccessful against the Wild Boar from Cardiff, Wales, Mike Hitchman, and oh, God, Bubblegum is so dangerous with those feet. Huge kick. But, oh, look, look, at, look at Flash Morgan Webster here. Flash Morgan cuts off Bubblegum, and both of these men are dangerously high on that top rope. Bubblegum fights out face first by Flash Morgan Webster. Who, oh, and Hitch hasn't seen Bubblegum. He's going for that package bowl driver, but look at Bubblegum! Double foot stomp, holy Super Mario Brothers by Manchester's Gen X League champion with a massive drop kick. And this one, God, these ones are so, they're so difficult to call because a 10 minute time limit, as you see on our replay, gives you the kind of action and the kind of speed you will just not see anywhere else. And that's why NGW's Gen X League is just so incredible to watch each and every week here on television or British Wrestling Weekly. But the stakes are very high because all of these men must be bubblegum within 10 minutes and bubblegum, look at that. He teased a big kick to the back of Myers, but then took it into a, a rear chin lock there. Sleeper holds uh, of sorts, trying to slowly craft the flow of blood to the brain of Holes Matt Myers. But Myers is quick to come out of that because he has something to aim for. They say in life, if you have a go, it makes you unstoppable. And the goal of Matt Myers, his sheer will and focus, is driven towards a rematch against the NGW champion Nathan Cruz. And he believes winning the Gen X League Cup will help him get that contest. Snap suplex there by Bubblegum on the biggest man in the match, the wild boy Mike Hitchman. And Bubblegum now is clearing house and controlling the ring here at the Liverpool Olympia. You've got to give this man credit. Say what you will about Bubblegum, but this guy is an incredible performer, an incredible technician, and he has become an incredible Gen X League champion because he has used that 10 minute time limit to his advantage and he has made the Gen X League his ultimate domain. But he has never been in there with three men at the same time who all won that title. And Bubblegum looks like he's gonna use that tape as a weapon maybe to try and choke out his, what's it? Oh, oh no, oh that's just disgusting. I don't even wanna say what Bubblegum's just done and he, oh, he throws that tape in the face of the wild boy Mike Hitchman. And I tell you what, if Hitchman hadn't been knocked into next week, Bubblegum would be in a world of trouble because he has just done one of the most disgusting, disrespectful things I've ever seen on this program. And look at Hitchman. Hitchman has lost it. The wild boy has lost it. Here's the ropes, comes back, Bubblegum drops down. What's going to happen? Oh, God, in the face, in the face, full force by Manchester's Bubblegum, but he hasn't seen Flash Morgan Webster behind him on the top rope with a crossbody from the heavens. My God, this one's so good. And look at Spear. He hits the gore on Flash Morgan Webster, but Myers there, massive super kick. Nearly takes the head off of the wild boar. And he goes for that greens from Awesome Town Moonsault. Hitchman moves, Myers lands on his feet, goes for the stunner. Hitchman goes for the German suplex again. Myers rolls through, got there, back and forth, back and forth. Myers stunner, Myers stunner. Hitchman's not down. Myers hits the ropes, comes back and, my God, power bombs him almost through the ring here at the Liverpool Olympia. And Myers slides out of that ring, but we are still going, we are still on. Flash Morgan Webster hits the ropes, waist lock, reversal, up in the air, comes down and whoa, 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 oh my God! Reverse of Cabrana, could have snapped the neck of Bubblegum and they're still going. Moonsault turns him inside out and this one is incredible, just incredible for your main event of British Wrestling Weekly. Oh, and he's going for that. Hitchman is going for the most dangerous move in British wrestling today, the package pile driver. And what's Chardonnay doing? And this is a dangerous place for Chardonnay to be because this man is an animal. 
and Chardonnay doing, I don't, she is playing a dangerous game. And Hitchman, Hitchman is, I've never seen the wild boar. Look, he is, I'm confused, he's confused. This guy normally acts like, what? Well, he acts like a wild boar, that's his name. But for some reason, he has mesmerized it up. Well, whatever he was feeling, that changed quickly because those educated feet of bubblegum knocked Hitchman down and down hard to the outside. But this one continues up. Flapjack, face first by Matt Myers, goes for the pin and Flash Morgan Webster prevents that. And you know what he's going for? It's the go to sleep. Oh no, he turns that mid-air. It was like that go to sleep move that was made famous by CM Punk, but in mid-air he turned that into an even more dangerous version of the move as the back of the neck landed hard on the knee and Flash Morgan Webster is not finished. This man can fly. This man is dangerous. He's going to the top of what, whoa, bubblegum. Oh, he's going for the ice cream headache. He's going, oh, he hits it. Inverted package powerbomb. Can he? No way, no way. But bubblegum wins. He's done it again. Bubblegum wins in your main event of British Wrestling Weekly. Manchester's Gen X League champion, Bubblegum, because he has proved the critic wrong once again. And in his most dangerous defenseless champion, he has walked out on top, and he's done it in a very decisive way. Look at that, the ice cream headache, he calls it. Electric chair drop into a package powerbomb, and Bubblegum wins yet again. And if you thought that was a big main event, my God, do we have two big, big matches for you. I am not exaggerating, possibly the two biggest matches we have ever had on this programme, because we have a double main event next week on the road to the Destiny Rumble. To find out more, let's go straight back over to Charlie Shakespeare.